This conference will now be recorded. to serve you by serving people of this great county. I pray we might be faithful to both. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody had a chance to look over Let's do approve. Second. Let's do approve by Mr. Peterson. Second by Mr. Cogill to approve the agenda. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. We will step down and recognize our outgoing chair, Mr. Ray Green. All right, sir, in grateful appreciation to Ray Reed for dedicated service to people of Bladen County as chairman of the Board of County Commissioners, presented by the Bladen County Board of Commissioners. It's actually doing tonight, even though it has the 96th day of December on it. Years of service, December of 2021 through December of 2022. Yes. Thank you so very much, sir. sir. And I have already called on you several times. Every time I have a conversation with him, I always speak with you. Um, the last thing he always says, if you need anything, call me. And I have called you several times. I've already asked you for some help on some things several times, and I appreciate it. You quite well. Yeah. It's been an honor to serve again as chairman of the commissioners. All of you folks, anytime that I've had the opportunity to have to speak or whatever, I never forget that I represent you guys with dignity and respect, not only y'all, but the employees of this county and the citizens that we all represent and put us in this position. But again, it's been a pleasure and I thank you very much. Thank you. Individual delegation wishing to address the commissioners. Matters of interest to commissioners. Mr. Chair, I do have one, and I should have um, discussed it with Mr. Martin. I guess I need to talk to Mr. McClary about the pipeline for the water pressure on our end of the county. What could be done? I think um, Steve Cameron, the um, ADR fire chief, um, he hopes, I'm hoping he will uh, get Mr. McClary and then and you, and then before you bring it to the county, or to the commission. But his comment was, there's not enough water pressure on that end. If there was a fire at East Arcadia School, nothing they can do. Absolutely. They would have to call every um, fire service to, to help them, because there's no water pressure on that end. So. Um, Our design for firefighting. Well, we know that, but at the same time, okay. I mean, and it's not just for firefighters, but there are homes out there that need water. And, they, and maybe there are ponds or something out there. 
could use. I don't know. But that's another option. I'll call it. Would you please? All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Martin. A month or so ago, I, I bought a plaque from Lumberton to be on the wall over here. Sir? You know where it is? I think right, it's all right there. Oh, okay, I'm looking for it there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of that's, uh, that's important. That's important. Okay, that, that answers the question. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Okay, thank you. Yeah, one thing, I, I don't want to get soapbox, 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 I don't Sound ordinance. I do believe this got worse. I, I wonder if they found out about it, but we'll show them. I just wonder if there's been any warnings, any citations. Um, I know they say it's hard to patrol, but you, if you just go up to Elizabeth Town, sit in the middle of town, I mean, they, there's a couple of Mustangs every day racing back and forth. I mean, just somebody, something's got to be done. It's, it's just it's really, really, me. You know, it's a matter of our you know, way of life and just a peace of mind. People up there shopping, store owners that have spent so much money to make it nice. And it is it's just unnerving. And it's probably not more than a dozen vehicles, but it's the same ones. Evidently, they don't work and it's right around. And um, just think something's got to be done to enforce. You know, re no reason to have an order to stop enforcement. I, I, I was speaking to someone the same thing. And then it seemed like nothing's been done. Yeah. I'll get on that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Thank Chairman, you. in respect of what Buffett John said, I know I've had in the last two months, and it's inside the city, and I actually went, when I would get called, I would actually go out and ride in the community myself to see what I was told, and then I actually went and found a police officer and brought it to their attention um, off of um, Martin Luther uh, Road and the and the different streets back there, four wheelers and motorcycles just running rapid, wide open. And I was telling Mr. Bullock and Mr. Cogdell uh, just a few minutes ago, I was out at the house I'm redoing right through the woods there in front of the Foundation Church. And I didn't hear it for 10 minutes Sunday afternoon. I heard it for about three hours. You would have thought I was at the racetrack. And if I can hear it there, any officer in town first be able to hear it as well. It's unreal. And the people are livid with it. They've made the complaints and nobody's doing it. So they say. Mr. Peterson. So, Mr. Martin, um, it's a county order. It's not a town order. What did the towns do? Did they adopt it? I don't know. We shared it with them. And, um, I know the chief, yeah, that might be the difference right there. The towns that in the dock. The chief was in the, uh, the various chiefs were at least one, I think maybe two. There were two chiefs. Were in, uh, it was actually three. Three chiefs. Okay. White Lake, uh, that Lake Murrow, and uh, Elizabeth. And the district attorney. And the district and the assistant yeah. district. And the sheriff. In the EJT, who, who told me said that? The town. Town. Well, I'm not so sure. You say about that, be, it's the same thing I do on the bypass. It's more, uh, I, the town may stick to the town. ETJ is more for planning purposes. I understand that. And I think the outcome of that meeting was, you know, we don't want to be unreasonable. And if people are out on 242 where they're in the house for half a mile, you know, nobody's going to be out there. Police and that, but in your towns where it's uh, you know congested, you got people unenjoyed. That's what we've got going for us in, in town. That's why people come, you know, tranquility and the peace, and they don't take but one Mustang or one truck. And they're you know, I, they want, I give a part time job, I go up there and just write license numbers down. They don't take <laughs> all now, it, don't take you five minutes, and you'll have 10. Really, we just I think we just got to put some teeth to this thing, whatever we can do. Sir, what's what's the ruling on the, the hype of vehicles? They have no kind of ruling on that as well. They've got to know they've got the squat. They call it Carolina squat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I mean, it is a law. Now, whatever. Yeah. I think it's how many? I can't remember how many inches. Six, maybe. Yeah, yeah above, above the original yeah. state law, but yeah, yeah. but that. That's right. Carolina squat to for that. That's the Enforce it or not. That's something for the Highway Patrol or a local that's state, 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 state law. That's a, that's a state law. Can we spoke of that? Didn't we say we were going to put in some type of sign? Can we do it? Can we 
put anything up and let people know. A lot of people don't know it's a city. So how yeah, we put anything up to tell people it's a noise or we're gonna do some public service right. announcement type things. Send that we were supposed to send out letters to the there are not but a handful of muffler shops in town just to say That's be right. aware. We're supposed to do that. Be aware we're gonna start enforcing this, so don't be putting stuff on people's cars you know aren't legal. I know we see gonna put signs out too, it's noise or the sign. Is the sheriff and the police department uh, aware of this kind of document? Oh, they will be we can we adopt 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 to help can we yeah, yeah, yes, we, we had the meeting with the sheriff department, so that means they're where and if, if I may address it again, and Mr. Cameron, correct me if I'm wrong. When we discussed it that day, I even directly asked the sheriff directly. I don't recall it ever being taken off the books. When we were teenagers, Charles or Noah, anybody knows. We couldn't even run a blue boy muffler. And blue boy, four boy, Joe boy right now, you can run anything and they kick it hard. No muffler, man. <laughs> so my point is, I don't know why it ever stopped. I don't remember anybody ever. <laughs> <laughs> the law's been there. Improper equipment is the wording. <laughs> People really don't know it exists. We haven't put anything out to let people know that we have passed. Oh, I remember what you said we did here at the board meeting. People don't know it's not or not. That's we can't afford it, Mr. Uh, I, I don't mean, I'm not against anything you all saying, but I think Mr. Martin needs to check the towns. And if towns aren't going to enforce it, you're wasting your time. Yeah. You got different signs out here. Well, the signs that can make a difference. I'm saying, if Mr. Martin had checked and said the towns are going to enforce it or accept yeah. it, then, then we got some teeth in it. But yeah. other than that, we don't have no teeth, I don't think. That's true. I think it's something we have to keep revisiting over and over and over. Well, unless the yeah. town adopts it. Yeah, which they sure seem like they were, um, especially, I think, White Lake, probably more so than those two. But I like you, years. that Cameron. I was behind somebody uh, a couple of days ago, oh, all the late way, late. and it was the loudest pipe I think <laughs> I've ever. <laughs> I, they, they were, and it was. I mean, he was just. I mean, just just blowing, and then there I am back here in my car, and it's just. I'm like, good I'm God, good you know. Car, but, you? Anyway, you know, you sure that wasn't your car? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just, you know, and, you know, little old person walking, it's blow their ears out, you know. That's pretty much Anyone else? Thank you. All right, next we have Mr. Benny Lynn, maintenance director of Blaine County Schools. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Happy New Year. First of all, I want to wish y'all Happy New Year to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here representing Blaine County uh, and want y'all to consider approving some money from the capital right. outlay. Got a motion by Mr. Jackson. Got a second by Mr. Britt. We are seated. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Good to do Thanks, sir. Aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Next for advisory board appointment. Bart's advisory board one. Motion to reappoint. I think they don't want it. Man, there's nothing no wrong with them. Is this, is this yeah, for the chairman? That's right. This for the chairman? Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, he, he died. That's right. Yeah, he died. Okay, I'll do it to um, the table. The next table. Table. Yeah. I have a motion to table. Second, second, second. Motion made by Dr. Mungold and second by Mr. Bullitt. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. 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 Um, I had a person that was supposed to get back with me. They have not. I would like to table that this time. But for Warren, I did put his name in a couple months ago, but he's not even with me. But to give me a, another month. Table. It's Second. Wrong. I have a motion by Dr. Mungo to table it. Second by Rebecca oh. Bullock. Any discussion? All the first say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Division on Aging Advisory Board. Tommy Thompson and Aaron Henson's place and David Foster and Larry Martin's place. Six. That's the which one? That's the division. The agency. Okay. Which one we're doing? You want to be doing the last job? Mm -hmm. The first one is the local board. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want the last? Division of agency. You did the wrong one. Wait a minute. Yeah. Both stay. Must be reborn. Thank you. Second. Mm -hmm. Thank 
motion to reappoint Mr. Peterson. Second by Dr. Mungoan. Any okay. discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Now regional aid. I have a motion by Mr. Peterson. You get those names, Ms. Maria. Second by Mr. Gillespie. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? January 17th meeting. And now we'll turn it over to our county manager, Mr. Greg Mark. Mike, can you see the calendar with you for uh, January, February? Now the offices will be closed on Monday the 16th. And also at 11 a.m. that day, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. parade will be held in Morgantown. Board meets on Tuesday the 17th at 6.30. Day the 18th, 11 until 12, there's a town hall meeting with uh, Senator Brent Jackson. Ooh, a round table type meeting, right? Uh, pick your one. Thursday the 19th at 5 30, the Elizabethan White Lake Area Chamber of Commerce annual dinner will take place there. On Saturday the 21st at 7 p.m., casino night will take place at Wino Industrial Park. On Tuesday the 31st at 6 p.m., the Substance Misuse Task Force. Meeting will take place at Lake College and Dollar Square. On Monday, February the yes, the one with the on the sense of that invitation of this oh. Well he he's uh interested in meeting with all the elected officials, municipal elected officials and county, so board of education members, county commissioners, county. Um moving over to February on Monday the sixth at eight AM there's a prayer service here at the fourteenth that evening at six thirty. On Saturday the eleventh, the NACO legislative conference begins in Washington for part of the next week. And then the board also meets on the twentieth at six thirty. Well you have your calendars out. Um, one item that we need to address not tonight, definitely by the next meeting, is to schedule a board planning session for the second late letter part of February. Um, well, the past couple ones have been on Wednesdays. I don't know if that's still a good day or, or not, but it's like on the 22nd or something like that. Yes, sir. That's, I think that's doing today. Like we did for four days. Well, I don't know if it'll take. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we can talk about what time you can it's best to start or whatever. We we have a number of items we'd like to. Uh, like going to the college. Yeah. Is that yeah. a Wednesday thing? Just the point in a second. I make a motion. We do it. No, I can't do it. What time? Is the time? When can you do it? What about the point there? Twenty first. Twenty first. So I'm making most of the twenty first. And what time? What yeah? What potential times would that be? Nine. Nine and ten. There are Tuesday and Thursday. I mean, y'all guys got the job. Y'all need to tell us when you want to meet. I mean, later or better for me. Hey, doing the day? It can be whenever you want it to be. That's, that's kind of worked in the background. I, 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 I remember last time, wasn't it like an all-day all thing? Yeah, it has been. But at that time, it seemed to work for everybody, but it's circumstances have changed. Well, what's 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 or Tuesday in the afternoon, or, or after lunchtime. Can we do that too? I mean, I don't know if that's enough time. You can't do it on any Wednesday. Got my going? Um, not for a couple of weeks. I can't because I already have. Can we do it on Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. at, at twelve o'clock and that. We're talking February. February. This is in February, yeah. dog. I know. I thought you said a couple of weeks. I mean, why don't we do it February at lunch and do lunch and then go into the meeting at lunch on the twenty first? Twenty one, twenty first. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Right. Would that work for you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Going to be at the college? White, well, I think likely at the airport. I know the past couple of times they've been at the airport, so I'll leave that. That's available. Because, well, you know, that was during COVID and they weren't having classes. People have lunch. Medium well, please. You're going to have lunch. Yeah. Have lunch. Now, if the place is not available, what, what's our next choice? I'll, uh, we'll have to figure it out. I don't really. Is that the college? Is that the college? Yeah. Well, the airport lecture. Tuesday, where? Twenty first. Twenty first. Where was that? The airport. All right, thank you. And then the item business. I don't know if we got a motion. I did. I made the motion. Made motion. Second. Mr. Todd Bell, second by Mr. Gillespie, for February twenty first at noon. Thank you. That's right. Can we get an agenda so if we can see something on there, we can add it between now and then? Or so who can that be fantastic? Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Right. Thank you. Let's do approve. Exactly. Motion to approve by Mr. Peters, seconded by Mr. Briggs. Any discussion? Yeah, is this the one that you were? We already appropriate money, but we just designated the money for the beach now. Yes, and well, we're we're kind of clarifying. We our strategic plan for the substance use disorder identified um, these beds as one of the priorities. The six beds. The five beds. Five beds. Yes, sir. The only place. We and the board has approved that. Well, the requirements for the opioid settlement funds require you to adopt a resolution prior to appropriating. So we now know that and understand that. So we're all adopting the resolution. We're asking you to adopt a resolution and then just ratify the appropriation for the five years. Okay. So we just want to be sure we have all our ducks. We have no change in funding that. No, no. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Any individuals or delegation wish to address commissioners? Matters of interest to commissioners. Mr. Britt. I'm Dr. Duncan. One question on um, do you know if the medical facilities are still getting X amount of dollars or whatever the dollars may be when COVID is announced? I've not known that to be the case. I'm not understanding the question, maybe. Right. Well, at the beginning, I think uh, X amount of dollars were given by the federal government. On announcing of someone with COVID. And am I the only one that knows that? Heard that? I'm not clear. I don't know the details, but I did hear that. Yeah. Hear that. And the only reason I question yeah. that is so many people are getting second opinions now, and when they're getting tested positive, it's just no. When they go get it somewhere else, immediately follow. And that's why I had the question. A lot of people are confused. And I'm asking because I'm getting calls and I don't know the answer. But so I'm asking if you've heard anything. I, I will do some research on it, but I really want to They're even charging for the COVID vaccination. I mean, the test, man, not a test going you back. You get a free test that the health department comes to the desk. Yeah, but I'm saying a lot of, a lot of them are charging you. They are trying to test you. A lot of private practice. Go private practice are charging you. So I want I want to I want to plant a seed here to yeah, this strategic plan meet with this map. I really want us the commissioners to just consider doing seeing the urgency of some of the things that's facing this county and see if we can put some timelines on it versus just open ended. And and and, and I think there's urgency around several things that's facing us that. I really think we need to move forward on and, and put a timeline on that so just, well, I mean, there's a bunch of them, the housing, the education piece, everything, the whole strategic plan. Ain't no timeline on it. And, and I agree with you because housing, we, it was identified several, couple of years, and I can only, what, six years? Six, what going to take? Well, we're, I, I'm guilty as anybody, but we just sit there and talk about it, and we don't and put a timeline on it, and we just sort of let it, Roll on. 
Not just timelines. I just want to fly that seat. I, I like that idea. But look, not just the timelines. I'd like to let's get some action. Well, timelines going to give you action. Well, not well. Good. Yeah, I just want to plant that seat. Thank you. That's it. What you talking about? It's one thing I like to do. I like to, well, I'm here in the public, thank you, Ms. Duncan, for uh, support on the uh, issues that we had down in the low end of the county yeah. with a uh, a housing facility and her staff did a tremendous job and they're still working on that. They believe you can break some stuff down there that was just completely nonsense. That this I want to tell you thank you for your effort and your staff for what you did down there. Anyone else? Aye. So adjourn. Second. To adjourn Mr. Peters, second by Dr. Mungolds. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Bye.